Good morning. We are heading into the knock this morning. And my brother and I woke up at 5.30 to go get our bags. And we were pleasantly surprised that they were there. So, everything's good. I had a little condensation in my tent this morning. Just put some Vaseline on my feet before I put my socks on. And I am hoping that our packages get in. Otherwise, we're going to have to make some alternate plans as far as where we stay tonight because we won't be able to get as far as we wanted to. But that's all what it's all about, right? We just got to keep on adjusting and adapting. So see you later on today on the trail. Okay, well, there's the knock and we are heading that direction. Took our time breaking camp this morning because we have no idea how long we are going to have to wait for our packages today. And so we're hoping that we'll get them and be able to get at least to the Sassafras shelter. I don't know if it, I have to look. It might be the Sassafras Gap shelter, but from what everybody's telling us, we have a pretty big climb. Well, and we saw it on the map too. It's a, going to be a couple thousand feet of elevation gain. And... So, we're going to just chillax a little bit at the knock. I want to reorganize my backpack a little bit. It's supposed to rain this afternoon and continue raining through the next three days and possibly four. So, I want to make sure that everything that I don't want wet is on the inside of my backpack. And I feel like I'm running out of room in there don't know how things are getting bigger in there instead of smaller, but I may have to wear more clothes just to be able to fit the stuff that's coming in my packages. Not ideal. It's supposed to be 70 today, and then rain is supposed to start around 5, so we will see if that happens. I would love to be able to have my tent set up before it starts raining, but there's a possibility that that will not happen. And so we will just deal because it's going to happen that way sooner or later, right? This is like the third bridge coming over to the neck. Okay, we have arrived. That was just like a 0.8 hike out of our campsite to the knock. And the store I don't think opens till nine. And I don't think the restaurant is gonna be open at all today. So we'll see what happens. I've seen this so much in videos, but I've never actually been here. So, are they gonna let us go? All right. <laughs> We've got a REI vehicle right there. All right, let's see what happens. This is where the Olympics were held for these water sports. And you can see that they still have different channels set up. I'm sure they do a lot of competitions here. But when the Olympics were in Atlanta in 96, this is where the kayaking competitions were. I don't know if there were any other ones out here, but So we're waiting until the store opens. There's Ronnie up there by that beautiful purple tree. And I jumped onto this little island here. And, yeah. We have a fly fisherman over there. He's not fishing right now, but Another one of the hikers is going to get out here and spend the day fishing as well. So that's exciting. I believe that's the bridge we go over when we get back on the trail. I want to introduce you to Cupper. He is from England. England. And he's going to just share a little bit of his story about what has him up on the AT today, this season. So I have a New Zealand, uh, Australian type friend who hiked north to south in 2017. 
and I always thought he was a lot less fit than me, so I figured I could have a go at it as well. Last year I came and did two weeks from Georgia to, from, from Springer to Winding Stair Gap, and this year I'm three days into Winding Stair Gap to somewhere. <laughs> How long are you going to stay on the trail, do you know? I'll, I'll be on trail about another 12 days. Okay. And then will you stay in the States or will you head back home? I'll have a one night in Asheville sampling the craft beer and then I'll head home. There you go. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate You're very that. welcome. And happy trails. Thank you. I knew. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the area where I live has the Cotswold Way, which is quite a gentle trail, about 100 miles. It's called the what? Cotswold Trail. In the area of England, we've got some very small picturesque villages. Oh, really? I mean... There's no mountain. Well, we just finished lunch and now we are hanging out at the knock. See the water over there. I think I might actually put my feet in there for a while. We're waiting for a package to arrive, so it's held us back a day, but we're just going to make the best of it. I'm here doing some postcards and just checking my phone, changing arrangements, and uh, enjoying this beautiful day. So we did an easy climb, like I told you guys earlier, but other than that, we just got done eating lunch and went through the outdoor center. And now we're just kind of chilling and hoping that the package will get here soon. We were hoping it was gonna get here earlier so that we could get back on the trail, but by the time it gets here, it'll be too late for us to start and get to a uh, shelter before it gets too dark. So it might be a blessing in disguise because it'll give Ronnie's knees a break. So anyways, talk to you later. We're staying at a hostel tonight, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour of that when we get there. We are at the Wing and Hoof. I don't even we are at the Wing and Hoof Mountain Retreat, and this is our little tiny home. There's a bed right there, a bed right there, and a bed up there for all three of us. And then there's a shower, a little sink, toilet, and a shower. We have a microwave, some dishes, a refrigerator some pans that we can use, a couple of heaters. And so this is where we are going to be staying for tonight and then getting back up on the Appalachian Trail tomorrow morning after breakfast. How you feeling, Ron? Good after that tough 0.8 mile hike. <laughs> it was a rough one today, wasn't it? It was, but we did it. We did. All right, we are at 1.30, right, 1.30? 130.6, something like that. Hey, we have Amy here, and she is running this beautiful retreat area, and we just wanted her to share with you guys what she's doing here. This is where we're staying tonight, and so we wanted to give her a chance to share her information with us. So our place is called Wing and Hoof Mountain Escape. It is a farm stay bed and breakfast, private accommodations, and um, shuttles. And we do slack packing from mile 115 Waya Gap to mile 242, which is Standing Bear, outside the other side of the Smokies going northbound. Um, what do you offer in the way of uh, food? Okay, so um, Shuttles from NOC and Stokoa Gap are included in our nightly fee, as well as cookies, snacks, drinks, fruit, um, shuttles to town and to the grocery store, um, hot breakfast, and then um, just park-like atmosphere. That's A lot right. of community areas, of community deck, community living room, community breakfast room, um, just a lot of hiker community. Yes, yeah. and very helpful. So can I take them on a little tour? 
Absolutely. Okay, so this is the deck that she was talking about. I'll walk you around it. We're staying up in that um, tiny home right there. But you can see there's couches and chairs. And then over here, we've got some more sitting areas. A lot more sitting areas. They've got a hiker box right here. And we went through this today, but they've got a section that has clothing, other things like just different things you could use, a Luco tape, baby powder, the propane tanks, um, clothing, uh, Crocs. And then over here, there's a bunch of different kinds of foods that people either don't want to take with them or that have been left behind. And then when you come inside, you've got this kitchen area and they've got complimentary beverages and there's some yogurt in there too. And so they've got all these beverages here and it's complimentary. They've got a sink and some mugs. They have coffee. Here is their table with, with for breakfast and they've got fruits and granola bars and stuff like that there. And then there's some stuff even in the refrigerator that people have access to. And then they also have a fire ring at nighttime. And so we look over here. So there's a propane fire pit right here. And then there's one uh, along the side that I'm gonna take you to. But this is a farm, they've got some horses, they've got a Clydesdale, they've got alpacas, goats, donkeys, miniature horses, and kitty cats. <laughs> and there is the fire pit, and they will have it running at nighttime. So you can see part of their farm right here. And here is their sign on the side of a car. So there you have it. Heading back up to my room. So we have been going through our food. I just got a box and it's only going to take us like two days to get to Fontana. <laughs> we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with all of our food and we get more food at Fontana. So we're telling ourselves we have to make sure that we stop and eat so we can get rid of some of our food. I'll show you the inside of our tiny home and let you see that as well. I have my tent drying right now and my Tyvek. My brother just took his shower and season one is in this tiny home with us. So there's three of us in here and we're uh, just drying out our tents, our shoes and socks and our tie back. <laughs> All right, grab it in the middle, grab it here, and then you... Voila! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> you did so good! <laughs> hey, I didn't videotape the other ones. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I want to introduce you to these two. This is their dream machine. machine. Yes. And they were through hikers last year and they came to the hoof and wing and hoof. Wing and hoof. Um, what's it? Mountain, mountain, mountain retreat. Mountain retreat. Yep. And so I'm just, I want them to share a little bit about, you know, what their life is like here. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's a lot like trail. This is pretty much um, what I like to call a badass tent. Mm -hmm. um, we All just right. get to carry more stuff with us. Um, but a lot of the, di the dynamics in the bus are very similar to the dynamics of through hiking a trail. Right. Like using the restroom and where are we getting water and where can we camp at. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, yeah it's weird how similar it is. <laughs> yeah. What would you say would be... Um, some advice that you'd give new through hikers. 
take your time. Yes. Yeah? Just take your time and enjoy it, truly. Because I feel like people very often get too hung up on miles and they want to, like, blast through it. But right. But you're going to remember it so much better if gotcha. you take your time. And I know this is a heavy question, but you said uh, the through hike changed your life. Absolutely. Can you em mm -hmm. embellish a little bit on that? Um. Yeah. So I think mainly um, the way we're living out here is much healthier and it just spiritually fits more for me than living out in what we like to call the matrix gotcha. or uh, the land of 90 degree angles okay. as they say. Uh, the cub bricks. Yeah, the cubicles. Um, you know, when my entire day consists of making sure I drink enough water, collecting water, making sure I have enough food, I constantly carry my food with me. Everywhere I go, I have everything I need, um, even though I don't have much. Um, there's something about, you know, out here our basic necessities are so convenient and so thought of that it just creates all this other time for us to work mm -hmm. gotcha. and do other things. Whereas you don't out check here, in with yourself as much either. Yeah, out here we live, yeah. you know. Gotcha. Um, I like that dinner takes three hours. <laughs> you That's know? awesome. And I have to logistically plan of where we're going to be and do we have enough fuel just right. to eat tonight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's better than spending all this brain power for someone else. Gotcha. And then buying some Chipotle. And trail right. names? I'm Swami. And I'm Bird. Okay. Yeah. And how'd you guys get those names? Um, I love birds. I was carrying binoculars last year. Okay. And keeping a list of all the birds that I saw. And the whole trail? Pretty much. Uh, uh, I got rid of the binoculars in Connecticut. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty far. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they were little. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah. And your name? Swami. Um, Shira actually named me Swami. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. But, uh, yeah, I was Big Z. And I was sitting on the ground. And I guess a circle had formed around me on my tarp that I was carrying. Uh -huh. I didn't even come out here with a tent. Wow. And Shira said, you don't look like Big Z. You look like Swami Z. Okay. <laughs> and it just kind of stuck. And so this, you live in this. This is your home. Full time. Full time. Full time. That's awesome. As of, yeah, full time. That's cool. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Yep.